Hey guys, Deus Python here with uh, another Let's Play. So this uh, this is another um, Square Enix game, or Square Enix, however you pronounce it, but I pronounce it Square Enix. Um, another game from Square Enix, developed by uh, Don't Nod Entertainment, French company. Um, Life is strange. Um, so, I realize this game's been out for a while now, um, I think they're actually, um, they're on the verge of publishing, uh, was it episode four? And if you haven't, I changed. haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Of the 20th century. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Um, okay, let's just flip to the beginning. Um, I don't know if, uh, if people actually want to uh, to read this, but I'm kind of interested in it. So, and I'll, I'll figure out whether I want to cut it out later or not. But I'm just going to read it right now. So, I, I don't think I've seen many let's plays that actually go through like all of this crap. So, July 10th, 2013, I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. <laughs> Even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy, a unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I'd be so excited since it's not like I used to live in the same town, but when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. Okay, so, you know, that really clears up a lot. So, um, in the end, I think it's really important to, to read all these little, little pieces of uh, story here, because... You know, I was, I was wondering why the school was uh, so small um, at first uh, when I was watching uh, uh, Switcher's gameplay, but um, it makes a lot of sense now. It's, it's an all-senior school, and it's, uh, well, it's obviously a private school, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. When I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. Uh, stamps? My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. I wish they had a voiceover for this. I think. I think it'd be really cool Free to poet. hear it in her voice. You did. I, I don't know if why anybody else looked that. at this, um, what would they think? What is this? Oh, photos. So, these are all the people so far, I guess, that, you know, contribute ever so slightly to the story. I know all about Kate, but I'm not going to talk about her. It's a bit of a spoiler. Um, ooh, I think I'm going to read this later. Not to be creepy or anything, but you know, I used to take these little little psychological profiles of people back way back when. Um, mostly people I hated though, so yeah. Anyways, oh, you can look at your phone. I used to do that too. I used to prop my phone up inside my textbooks and uh, and do stuff, you know. Especially when I was sitting up at front where. You know, teacher could catch me red-handed. Anyways, um, page two. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back in town. Back in a town, I was excited about leaving. Maybe I want to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved us uh, to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seemed more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. Sigh. <sighs> insert hearts and flowers plus there would be cool diverse students from everywhere 
won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky. I have a couple great friends here. But it's time to ship out. Oh dear. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Uh, I don't know if they go into this, but I think Arcadia Bay... Um, first of all, it's, uh, it's a fictional town, so if you go looking for it on the map, you're not going to find it. Or you're, you're going to find inaccurate information. Uh, I think it's in Oregon, so, you know, it's... Yeah. So, wait, I read that. Okay, let's move on. Shit is crazy with a K here. That's really crazy. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. You know that's true. When I packed for college, um, yeah, it was pretty insane. Two luggages and, uh, and extra backpacks. It was pretty insane. And I ended up taking like half the shit back, um, like two weeks in anyways, because I uh, didn't really find a use for it. And towards the end of my first year, um, you know, I still had like half my crap unused. So, um, to be honest, if you think if you think you have a lot of crap uh, to pack, or if you think you have a lot of um, necessary stuff, um, just just leave out whatever. Just cut the uh, just cut the crap and just you know take only what you know you would live off of, like bare living. Um, necessities. Just, uh, just my two cents for the college bound. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited of clearing out my room, though I caught though, spelled like that. <laughs> though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. You know, I've never spelled though like that, ever. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, it, it sounds really endearing because. She's a she's a girl. Sounds almost adorable. But, but if a dude said that, yeah, I don't think so. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. I don't look down on yourself. I mean, hey, fashion is skin deep. You heard it here first. <laughs> <clears throat> Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat, and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. I hope that's not like... Never mind. And there will be so many cool, super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. Okay. So, September 2nd, my first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew, I haven't gotten any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. Tell you the truth, I used to write a lot too. That was, uh... Back in middle school, I used to keep a journal or a log or whatever you call it. Um, yeah, I used to write about, like, random bullshit. And uh, I stopped doing it for some reason. And I'm probably never going to start again. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, way past my prime for writing. For just keeping a journal lying around. I'm way too busy with life. Okay. Um, my shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine and I never want to leave which is small but mine and I will never want it. it sounds weird for some reason I can't wait to decorate I plan a whole wall of, of photos I did meet some of my dorm mates though I suck at remembering names so I won't bother right now but I think I can already see sorry I'm getting really distracted with the way she's writing though um, Hella reminds me of uh, Yes, I do use I I do use Hella just like the characters here. It's sort of a West Coast thing, so um, get used to it. Um, yeah, it's reminding me of this one chick. Let's just say I used to know her. That's all I'm gonna say. Not in a very positive light, by the way. That's how she used to spell though, and I hate 
and I, yeah, let's, yeah. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool, who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Max is so cool. Honestly, like, for some reason, she's, like, she's a really likable character, you know? She's, yeah. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn, the day I started, or the day started like Christmas morning, I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. If she dreams a lot, you know, I can definitely feel it. I dream, like, way too much. Um, God, where do I even begin? Like, that was, this is, like, totally my first week in college. Like, I, I used to sleep, oh, like, heck, I used to sleep into, um, into noon. You know, I, I know a lot of people do that. But first week of college, um, I was up, like, preppy at, like, 7, 8 in the morning for classes and I had no dreams the night before, which is why I got so much sleep. Um, heck, you know what? I still keep a dream dream journal, dream log, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know it sounds lame, but it's not it's not it's not as lame as you think it is. I mean, like I had some pretty trippy dreams. So um, I used to I used to write that down. I don't do it formally anymore. Mostly, I just text it to myself and hey, I leave it be. You know, if I find it again, I'll just. I might just read it. I haven't read reread a single one ever since um God, I had I have to say the start of senior year, you know, where she is right now. Um So yeah, let's uh let's let's get going. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear. Um so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase, that bitch, rich, stylish, and titled? I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh, extra crispy sensitive. I like that. So that wasn't fun, uh, along with my general social unease. I thought it'd be easier being back. Call me the Wambulance. I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. She's very eloquent. I, I love the way she writes and uh, um, I know this is like, I mean if I, I feel like I'm actually reading someone's journal. That's like, and, and not only that, but like someone who's incredibly engaging. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. That's that's totally me right there, you know, I fuck. Like everything. I swear, I like you try guessing how many pictures are are, are on my uh my uh, iOS cloud right now. Just just guess. It's huge. I can't I I mean last I checked it was something like one hundred twenty thousand. Yeah. Speaking of at least one great thing did happen today, Mr. Jefferson's photo photography class. <sighs> There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. I like how she's like addressing her journal, and like back when I used to write, I used to just, I used to address like as if I was telling my life story to a person. I used to address like a mysterious, unknown, default, null person. You know, that's what I used to do. Because I figured, you know, in the future, if I'm reading it or someone else is reading it, if it falls in the right hands, I'd be, I mean, like, they'd be able to go like, oh, so, you know, he kind of uh, anticipated some, that someone was going to pick the journal up. Uh, I highly doubt that's going to happen. Um, I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate, you scrub. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek, plus he's dark and witty. He comes across as a kind of know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know it all, or know it a lot. We talk about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll, and he'll be a good study partner, or a good friend. 
I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought, no, not at all. Um, wait till college, then you can be like a complete shut-in, and it wouldn't matter. Um, another thing about art school is, from what I hear, um, yeah, it's a lot of work. Like, not my words here, but, um, and I'm not trying to steal these words, but I feel like they summarize it up real good. It's, uh, I think someone on Yelp was right. I was looking at um, one of the art schools out there. I think it was like the Los Angeles School of Arts or whatever. But um, someone said uh, something about, you know, like by the end of the year, you'll either have lost a, lot, a ton of weight or you will have gained a ton of weight. And I'm like, wow. Wow. Like at a university, trust me, I don't care if you take the maximum amount of classes you will have time to hit the rec center if you don't dick around like you know all day long anyways at least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading but this is exactly what I want to study Jefferson is super cool and super chill he doesn't try to be too hip just says what he thinks and expects us to as well I think see, I think I think he's a genius. OMG, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. You ever reread like what you wrote and then be like, no? Yeah. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Pratt, the bros. Oh my god. Don't even get me started. I had a shitty roommate who uh, couldn't get into any of the Greek frats. So he joined like one of those bullshit, like two times, like ten times more phony fucking uh, frats. It, it was pretty annoying. And uh, he would come back drunk every night. And uh, it was a lot of hard work on me because, you know, I was loaded on classes. I was a good student. You know, I, I, I do things that matter, but let's not even go there. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone. You see, those were the words I, I had. You know, I, I had them at the tip of my tongue. Her male clone or her male double or whatever. <laughs> with, way more, with way more money and attitude if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bang to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he's li he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. He should have said shit. Jack shit. I'd get suspended. I'd get suspended. You see, you can't italicize handwriting. Ah. I'd get suspended, but see, you kind of know. I'd get suspended. You kind of know the tone. Okay, that's enough out of me. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get um, their way. It's good to be a king and queen. I don't want to slam everyone or everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here, like Victoria, who think beauty is just for your is just your face and outfit. See, I'm alright playing their uh, their drama games. No more. Tell you the truth, if the whole game was just the journal, it would be worth my money. It would be, it would totally be worth it. Like, again, I'm really digging this this stuff. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and a lot of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I want to come to Blackbone. Of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. <sighs> you know, that just reminds me, I have a design contest, um, a mascot design contest uh, to enter. 
deadline is September. I have two months. Might as well wait until July 30th. Sorry, but that's totally me. Like, yeah. There's a lot of prize money. I'm sort of doing this on my own, um, on my own will, I guess you'd say. But, can't be asked. Oh, uh, there's a there's a thing. I think I read something about um, about a study about uh, you know creative thinkers and um, artists and people like that. You know, uh, they have a lot of problems with procrastination and distraction and feeling like that is probably true. Okay, I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I read that really weird. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him. Take him or too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. I think I'm gonna pause this video after the next page and uh, get a drink or something. I'm parched. It's summer. Um, Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can understand. Can kinda understand. I kinda love how she relates society to science and vice versa. You know, I kinda like how my, uh, when I was taking uh, physics, uh, my professor, he said, um, after the, after the whole introduction slide, he said, this will be the last boring lecture, and then, henceforth, I don't think he ever had a fun lecture. I mean, he did demonstrations, which was kind of cool. Um, yeah, he did some really awesome angular momentum shit, but I don't think I ever found any of them fun because I was fighting sleep the whole damn time. It, it just, it was, it was terrible. Oh, God. And the lectures were like one and a half hours long. Hey, kids, never... Never enroll in a lecture that is one and a half hours long unless you can uh, unless you can't help it. Just take the hour long lectures. Believe me, it makes a difference. Um, unlike some wait, unlike some of us in her class. Unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more. Oh, it's probably just some sort of like fragment from the last sentence. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's like spoken vernacular rather than written. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. How can you be? Like, seriously, like, you think, you think you'll go to a place and you'll be like the one that's being left out? You, you think you're going to be the one that just doesn't fit in and you know that's that's impossible you know there, this, there's plenty of room in this world for social misfits now how much homework are you avoiding are you avoiding October my favorite month the best weather of the year I love watching the leaves change color turn to tiny flames that's poetic but it's still too damn hot, thanks global warming, and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate, let me borrow or Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. Oh yeah, Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. If you don't know what Battle Royale is, you better look it up right now. Seriously, right now. Um, the last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures of one of my old albums. I hope we can actually see it. That'd be really funny. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club, Stroke Fest, Swimming Party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You so puny, Max. Or punny, not puny. <laughs> puny spelled with one N. You so punny, Max. Ha 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 ha. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. 
as my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. You have all the time in the world. You have all the time in the world. Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, that takes us back to page one. Okay, so we're all caught up. I'm hoping this thing fills up as we progress. Um, I heard the entire game itself takes place in the frame of a week. And, um, you know, from what I've seen in the gameplays, or the uh, Let's Plays I've seen, um, they don't really go into this journal stuff much. They mostly stick to gameplay, but... Um, I hope she does add more entries. Yeah. Alright. Alright, now about that drink. So, um, right now I'm still at the beginning of the story. I'm sort of just exploring the journal here so um, let's hurry this along and uh, call it a wrap and get on with the gameplay so um, let's go ahead and read some of these first uh, I'm not sure why there's stars over um, these three and not Kate but uh, I guess we'll figure it out so my name is Max Caulfield and ever since I was a little kid I knew I wanted to be a photographer I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. That's funny. Lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital technology. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. To tell you the truth, um, I don't know. I like way back when um, actually I was really very much drawn to digital technology when I got my first digital camera it was like a 1.2 megapixel digital camera and I fell in love with it I loved the thing I took pictures um, all over the place um, but I gotta say like when I started when I started playing PC games I was more drawn to World War II games rather than you know futuristic franchises did you know I've never played, um, or rather, let's see, how should I say this, the only game in the Halo franchise I've ever played was Halo 1. I didn't even finish the game. I gave up after, uh, I think I played for like two hours. I just gave up, never went back to it. Just didn't appeal to me. Um, so I was, I was really big on the first COD, um, Battlefield 1942, stuff like that. Um, you know, I really should be saving this kind of stuff for like a, like a Call of Duty commentary or something, but I don't really do those. I have a ton of Advanced Warfare uh, footage, but quite frankly, I don't think anyone would watch it. Um, and, you know, I'm not too impressed with it myself. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's get on with this. Um, I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in, a, I'm in great company, right? and I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. Well, I mean, either or. doesn't. You don't have to say 12th grade seniors. Um, on a scholarship, even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side. That's funny because um, I keep my uh, I keep my name tags too. It's weird. I keep a whole lot of junk. Believe me, I keep old receipts. I well, I keep receipts that I feel like are notable, like something I bought on a day that, that was really important to me. Um, like dates. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Not only is Mark Jeffrey... Wait. Okay, so this is on Mark Jeff. I thought it was a continuation on her, but... Okay, so not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher, and, and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. 
how often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his um, deco, deco, whatever, in goth, sty goth style, and he's so versatile with all his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but well, kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. You know, she has a thing for hip and hipster and things like that. Like, I never use hip unless I'm joking. It's not a word I use. He has a smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo, photo in this Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job um, of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and gets national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be um, good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. And I can just imagine how many firemen and policemen photos, or I don't know, even dogs and animals photos, like, you know, those those dogs that walk blind people around photos are being sent into this contest. So, um, I don't know, to be honest, I kind of like Max's picture, if you don't remember what it was. I'll pull it up later, but, um, I mean, like, her photo's pretty deep, like, she's out of focus, the background's uh, in focus, I think in the background there's just a whole bunch of pictures of, like, other people, so, I don't know, it says a lot about, you know, how selfless she is. And, I don't know, as it turns out, like, I guess she's gonna end up becoming the hero herself, and, you know, with no one to show... What a... What a Ah, Kate. Okay, so I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I could barely make I could barely help myself. I wish or I wonder if all that bullying has wore her down. I can see how it would. I would I would have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or a movie. True love waits. Although she's not or although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R rated films. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, I'm not even going to go into the whole religious debate, but, I don't know. It's pretty much my life. Back in uh, early high school, before I shed off my religious coat. Anyhow, okay, let's talk about Victoria Chase. Shoosh, I'm dreaming. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. You have to say, you have to include this line, a total bitch. I mean, she's not even, like, half a bitch. <laughs> I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. Eighteen-year-olds at prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show con contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals? For realsies? I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut that. They cut off that trust fund fast. I don't know. Maybe they sent her here, you know, to get rid of her. I know a couple of parents who do that. Yeah. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school. So maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does no art and photography. Photography. 
She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a she has a good eye. If she said, I wish she'd said like something like that puts my tongue in a twist. That'd be fucking hilarious. Whatever. She also has an eye for Mr. Uh, Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha! And back to bags. Okay, so, I'm, I mean, I'm going to come back to this tab um, as we add more characters. So, episode one, Crystalis. Um, I don't know what any of this is, to be honest. And texts, we got one from Dad. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. He's rocking that beard. How do I go back? Oh. Bag button. Jared? Kate. Alright, let's uh, start from the very beginning. Hey Max, you round? Always. You okay? That's really reassuring. When someone says always and then goes, you okay? That's like that's something you'd want to hear if you were distressed. Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Hugs and kisses. Damn it, I keep pressing that. Warren. Oh my god. Make sure you check out Neck Romantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Hey, there's more. <laughs> Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. Please. No response. I like that. Just ignore this guy. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything, we have 